Hello Facebook, Isa Mom here. Happy Sunday everybody. I am just enjoying my chocolate avocado cookie because it was either this or a Ghirardelli brownie mix that you make in a cup. So we're opting for that. I'm going to talk a little bit about some kind of um, kind of heady things today. <laughs> We're going to talk on, um, hey Jean, how's day two girl? Doing good I hope. Mm. Okay, so I'm going to talk a little bit about our shake because I did promise everybody that I was going to do a product highlight. So I want to talk briefly about, it's going good, great. So you weigh in tomorrow morning and you text me with your total loss, okay? Yay, so excited. So I'm gonna talk about two options of shake that we have, a regular line and our whole blend line, okay? Um, I also wanna talk a little bit about um, thinking, feeling, and doing, because I think from somebody who has a mental health background, which is what I do, is my full-time job, um, I think it's important to understand when I say put structure to your food, why it is that I say that, and why it's important. Why do we need structure? to something like what we're eating. Why? Why is that important? All right? And it's because of the way we think, feel, and do. Because thoughts, actions, and behavior all interfect, in, in effect and intersect with one another. And so I'm gonna talk a little bit about some examples of what that might look like for some people. I know what it's looked like for me in the past. Um, these are just examples. These are not, you know, these could look different for everybody. So we have um, that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, just discuss that really quickly. Not really quickly, but I'm going to talk about it. And then I'm going to talk about our two different options. There's actually like four different, like five different options <laughs> of shake. So we're going to talk about that as well. So, first I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna talk about thinking, feeling, and doing, okay? So I wrote out a little visual of what we call a cognitive behavioral triangle. So you have your thoughts, which might be backwards because I'm on selfie mode. You have thoughts, you have actions, I'm sorry, thoughts, feelings, and actions, and they all kind of affect each other, okay? Why is this important? Well, when you have a thought, right, it affects how we feel, okay? And who can tell, who can, who can attest that when you feel one way, when you feel really good, your behavior is one way, and when you feel really bad, your behavior is another way? Who can attest to that? I can, okay? For sure. I know I'm not the only one, all right? So... When we think certain things, we start to feel certain things. Hi, Hope. You think certain things? Yes, exactly, for sure. Thank you. Um, when you feel certain things, you behave a certain way, okay? Let me give you an example of what this looks like. Thought and how this applies to food. So this is, this is for me, coming into this system coming into nutritional cleansing, I came at it from a mental health professional standpoint. I, I put on that, that, that hat, that lens, and I looked at the system from that perspective, okay? So there's just keeping that in mind, okay? Family therapist, licensed family therapist, so this is how I look at things. It's just how I'm, it's just what I do. So example of this thoughts actions, thoughts, feelings, and actions, okay? 
Example. Thought. I'm fat. Thought. I'm out of shape. Thought. I'm making bad food choices. Hey, Marianne. Okay. Thought. I can't make good choices when it comes to food. All, all I want, all I want is sweets. That's not all, that's not all you want, right? That's what, that's what you're telling yourself. I'm too old. This is my favorite. I'm too old to make a change. I can't have just one cookie. Happens to be true for me, but I've, I have to stop telling myself that, right? Okay. I'm not capable of going up the stairs. Okay. Thoughts, right? Okay, then we internalize the thought, so I'm fat, I'm out of shape, I'm not fit, I'm, I can't, I can't do this, I, uh, you know, that's, that's too much for me, that's too much for me to handle, okay? We take those thoughts and we internalize them, and then we feel even worse because now we believe those thoughts, okay? So you feel bad. For me, this manifested as guilt, where I would eat something and I would tell myself, I knew I shouldn't do that, I know better. Now you're feeling guilty. Maybe you feel shame, okay? Um, that would equate to maybe low self-esteem, low self-worth, right? You're believing the negative thoughts that you're having. You're thinking to yourself these things. You're feeling a certain way. How are you most likely to behave then? How are you most likely to behave then? What are you eating then? Burger King, McDonald's, right? Okay. The behavior is what we go to eat. We're going to the easy food. What's the easiest thing for me to get right now? Because you've already told yourself that you can't do anything else, right? So, and we're believing it. So now our actions are showing, a, is a manifestation of how we feel, which is a manifestation of what we thought, okay? So thought, feeling, doing, okay? You're going to make the unhealthy choice now at this point. Why? Because now you're feeling guilty, you're feeling ashamed, you're feeling unconfident, you're feeling, um, uh, you're feeling crappy. So how are we most likely to behave? Maybe depressed? Okay. Now we feel all those things. Now we're behaving exactly like we're feeling. So we're not taking care of ourselves. We are probably not exercising. Uh, because exercising actually increases serotonin and norepinephrine and all the feel-good hormones in your brain. So, I mean, people that have high amounts of those typically don't think in this way. Um, you're demonstrating behavior that proves what you're telling yourself and what you're feeling about yourself. It's almost like a self-fulfilling prophecy, okay? Okay. All right, you're gonna make the convenient choice with food. Hey Rose, you're gonna go ahead and make that convenient choice with food because when you're feeling ashamed and guilty, you don't feel like you're worth anything else, right? Okay, so we have the thoughts. I'm fat, I'm out of shape, I'm too old, I can't do this. We have the feeling. I'm feeling bad, I'm feeling, I'm feeling like crap, I have low self-esteem, I don't feel good about myself, then we're engaging in behavior because we feel that way. Okay, can you go get her please? 
thoughts, feelings, and actions, okay? This is our triangle for anybody just signing on. This is a cognitive behavioral triangle. It is an actual thing in the mental health profession. Okay. Thoughts, feelings, and actions. So applying this to food, how do we change? Well, first we have to change what we think, right? How are we, what are our thoughts, right? Um, I'm a big believer that you can go, I mean, the arrows go everywhere. So you change any one of these things and it's all going to change. Theoretically, right? Okay. So if we change the way we think, I can be successful. I, I can um, achieve my desired outcome. I can lose weight. I can have more energy. I am, then how do you start to feel? You might start to feel more positive. You might have a um, higher self-esteem. When you feel those things, how are you more likely to behave? You're more likely to do what? Make the choices. And again, I'm, I'm applying this to food. This is true elsewhere, but I'm applying it to food and the structure and why the system is effective. So now we're thinking these um, now we're thinking these uh, positive, more positive things. So we have more positive feelings. We're more likely to reach for something that's not going to make us feel shitty, essentially. Okay. Conversely, if you went backwards and changed a behavior, enter nutritional cleansing. Your feeling would be different, scratch that. Your thought would be different because now you're doing something that's opposite of what you've told yourself, okay? So if I'm engaging in behavior that's opposite of what I'm telling myself, I'm proving myself wrong versus proving myself right, okay? So if you're the person that makes not great choices every day, or maybe it's once in a while. I don't know. I don't know what you're eating or what you're doing every day. But what I know for me, I know is that my guilt and my shame would go up when I behaved or engaged in something that I knew wasn't good for me. And so then what do you feel about yourself when you think about that? So for me, it starts with the action. Maybe for you, it starts with the feeling. I don't know. For me, it starts with the action. I'm a firm believer that if you act, even if you don't feel like it, if you act, you can change this whole trajectory for yourself. Okay. So, let's change the thought. Let's change the behavior. Let's, let's enter nutritional cleansing. Nutritional cleans cleansing has entered you're on day two. You are following the food list, which is very easy. You are having your meal replacement, which I'm gonna talk about in a minute. You are getting ready to cleanse, which I've done countless lives on cleansing. Happy to do more, right? So what are your thoughts about yourself? or about what you're doing when you do those things. I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna crush this. Um, I'm worth, I'm worthy. I can, um, I can do this, I'm capable. How the thoughts change. Then how do you feel? So now our behavior's changed. We're not eating McDonald's, we are drinking our shakes and eating our strict 30 approved foods our thoughts are different now how do we feel not only are your thought are your um feelings going to be different because you're doing and thinking differently your your um feelings are going to be different physically because of what you're going to put in your body hey janine okay so thinking i'm now Thinking differently about myself, 
I'm now feeling differently about myself emotionally, feeling differently about myself, and I'm behaving differently to prove myself right versus prove myself wrong. Right? Okay. Guys, again, I'm applying this to food. This applies in other aspects. You could apply this to anything. You could apply this to relationships. You could apply this to, um, I mean, your own uh, self-awareness. You could apply this to anything, okay? I'm applying it to food. Okay. When you do different, and I'm a firm believer that it only takes one action to set forth this whole thing. Right, Because I feel that if I physically see myself doing something that I know is good for me, I'm, me personally, I'm automatically going to think differently than I did when I wasn't doing it. All it takes is an action. All it takes is a decision. Why? Because this, because actions affect everything else. Actions, you're gonna feel different. You make an action, you're gonna think different. When you think different, you're gonna feel different. When you think different, you're gonna act different. It's, I mean, it's literally this simple, okay? This has been around forever. This isn't like something that just is new. Like this has been around a long time. Cognitive behavioral therapy is not a new thing. It's relatively new, but it's not new like this year or anything like that, okay? Okay. Applying this to food, enter, so the behavior for so many, and I can't help but wonder if the people that are really successful on this program, that are really committed to um, feeling, when we say feeling better, right? I can't help but wonder, are those people, people that are having a response from the actual nutrition that's going in their body and or actually benefiting from, well, I think that's true, actually benefiting from this shift. There's a shift. You start this program, there's going to be a shift here. I was a very confident person before I started this. I mean, anyone would tell you. <laughs> it's not like I became this like, you know, the flamboyant, crazy, big haired person you see before you now because of isogenics. That's not what this, that's not what this is about. This is about changing internally. Nutrition wise helps you change, makes a lot of healthy changes. Um, it can help with a lot of physical ailments that people have, but also what's going on up here. Okay. And the number one thing, and this is something I told myself too, what happens when I don't do it anymore? Am I going to gain all the weight back? If you finally found a lotion or a shampoo that worked great for your hair, you loved it every time you put it on, you absolutely felt amazing, your hair was in pristine condition, would you stop using the shampoo? No. You would, you would buy that shampoo every single time you were low. Every single time. Okay? So if something works for you, if something fits into your lifestyle, if something is showing you um, uh, results and showing them to you quickly, why would you ever stop doing that thing? Why would you stop doing it? If it's saving you money long term, if it's helping you and helping you be a better parent, teacher, first responder, uh, daughter, son, spouse, whatever, why would you stop doing that thing? Why would you stop doing that thing? Okay. So I think, again, I think the people that are very successful here are ready to shift everything. You can't just you can't just think about this as like, I'm going to do this for 30. Listen, a diet is what you do for 30 days to fit into a wedding dress. I've said that before. This could be that. That's not what it's set up to be, but it could be that. Okay. Everything will shift. All you have to do 
is change one thing. You can do anything for 30 days, guys. If 30 days scares you, give me two weeks. Just saying. Okay. I want to talk about birthday cake. Okay? Birthday cake shake is my favorite flavor of all time. And I'm actually getting, <laughs> I'm actually getting some memories, some time hops on my Facebook of what I was posting a year ago. Cause I've been on the system about, a, it was a year in July, it's September now. Okay. So just about a year ago, I was like, wow, people need to know about this. Like, I feel great. I look better than I did in my twenties. And so people need to know about this. So I started posting. So now all these posts are coming up like one year ago today. You posted, posted about salted caramel shake. Anyway, okay. Our meal replaced, we have many different options, okay? So people think like, oh, you can only get, you know, it's only one flavor. There's people that come back and they, that haven't done this for years. And they're like, oh my gosh, this has changed. Like this has changed. This is this company has changed in the last year that I've been here. Things have changed drastically. Okay? All right. This is our regular line shake. Isolene shake is a meal. It is a full meal. So if you are um Hey Patricia, so if you are thinking to yourself, "Oh, that's so much sugar." Right? It's so much sugar in it. Our shake has Less than half of an apple in sugar. Just keep that in mind. Okay. Calories. 240 calories. 6 grams of fat. 24 grams of carbs. 11 grams of sugar. 24 grams of protein. Thing about our shake, guys, is that when you make a shake, you cannot physically reproduce the nutrients that's in this shake on one plate. Maybe multiple plates, but not one plate, okay? So, birthday cake is one of my favorites. I love to pair birthday cake with strawberry. Now this is our whole blend. This just came out in Ju July, July. This just came out in July. I'm still thinking we're in August. Um, this came out in July. It is, we started doing something that, that, um, no one in the health and wellness industry is doing yet. And that is using vitamers in our product. Okay. A vitamin is a, um, essentially it's a more, your body absorbs them better. It's more, um, it's got more aspects I guess of a vitamin than just one so like the example that's in our video is um, spinach has b6 in it well the complex of b6 has it's six six of them six complexes so if you take a b6 pill you're taking one of those complexes just one when we extract again in the shake you're having all six of them and last time I checked six vitamins are better than one so and that's just b6 there's all different types of c and d and e and f and g and everything in here okay some of the stuff in here let me read you the list because it is ridiculous soluble vegetable fiber sunflower oil powder um, where's all the vegetable ones? Okay, broccoli, spinach, kale, pumpkin, sweet potato, sunflower seed, kelp. I've never eaten a kelp. Anyone? Anyone else? Okay. Curella, mataki mushroom, shiitake mushroom. In here. Okay. So when you're eating a, sh when you're drinking a shake, you're literally getting more nutrients in a shake than you can produce on a plate. I mean, to me, that's a no brainer. And you can mix flavors. So if you do a scoop of birthday cake and a scoop of strawberry, guess what? You have strawberry cake. If you do a scoop of strawberry and a scoop of chocolate, you have chocolate covered strawberries. If you do a scoop of birthday cake and a scoop of chocolate, you have chocolate cake. Delicious. 
Love it. So, what time is it? 8.26, okay. So, my point is, is that when you physically make a change, such as nutritional cleansing, you will feel differently both physically and Emo and mentally, emotionally, you're going to feel different. And that's for, well, the benefits that are in making a healthy change, number one, those physical components, blood sugar regulation, better sleep, um, no sugar cravings, kicking your sugar cravings. There's so many I can't even think of, I can't even think of anymore. Plus, you're making this shift. You change one thing, everything else is going to shift. Just start with an action. Just start with it. Just do it. See what happens, right? There are people that <laughs> my, my, I just got a phone with my aunt before I did this, this live. She lost in less than a week what I lost in my first month. Granted, she had more weight to lose. But, and again, we can't make any claims. We can't guarantee you'll lose 10 pounds in a week. We can't say that. However, I will tell you that it has been done. Some people only lose five pounds in the first month, but they lose a crazy amount of inches total body because they're bloated. Okay. So if you're thinking and feeling about yourself, like we descri I described in the beginning of this live, then we need to talk. I mean, again, I came at this at a very different angle than a lot of people. I had been to conferences about how food can affect and cure certain mental health illnesses. I am not making any claims that this system will cure any mental illness. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, is I had been to foods as natural medicine, spices, foods and spices as natural medicine, um, uh, how food af um, affects and or helps mental illnesses. These are the type of conferences that I went to. So when I came in, why am I telling you that? Because when I came into this, I had a different lens on that I was looking at the system through. And I wanted to see if I would be able to apply what I know as a mental health professional to my food. And lo and behold, here I am a year later, helping other people do it in the pockets of my time, making great money, just saying. Okay, so for me, if you can change your thought and then go and change your action, great. I can, I can really only help you here. This is where I can help you. I can't I can sit there and preach to you all day long about how awesome you are and how amazing you are and how you should feel so great about yourself and how you should think this about yourself, but that's not going to change unless you do something. Action. It's not going to change. So, but what I can tell you is that you don't have to feel guilty. You don't have to feel ashamed about food choices or things that maybe you didn't do great in the past for yourself. We cannot change what we've done. We can only, only change what we have do going forward, what we do going forward. There really is no point and no benefit to lamenting about all the choices that you've made wrong in the past. What is wrong is if you don't learn, take all those mistakes, find the lesson, and move forward. And that goes true with everything, not just with food, with everything, okay? Went on my little mental health tangent there, so sorry. But, again, I can't help you with your thoughts. I can't help you with how you feel. I can help you with your action because when you show action, you are going to think and feel differently about yourself. And you know what? Once that happens, you're gonna wanna keep that trajectory going. And then what's going to happen is people are going to say, oh my gosh, what is this change in you? Because it's not just physical. The change here is not just physical. Granted, that's what people might notice first, but then they're going to see your attitude is more positive because we have adaptogens and botanicals in our, in our um, 
products that are gonna make you feel amazing and be able to adapt to stress better. What else does that do? It helps you release belly fat because your cortisol levels are now lower. So you're gonna smile, you're gonna laugh more, you're gonna play with your kids more, you're gonna joke with your husband more when maybe you would have bit his head off. I don't know, right? So the action is gonna affect everything else. If you do it right, I promise you, I promise you. I can't guarantee what will happen, but I can tell you that the results will be there. The results will be there. I have a family member that is on fire this week, on fire. Every time I text her, she calls me. <laughs> I can't believe this. I'm so happy. I'm telling everyone about it. My The doctor down that lives down the street from me wanted to know what it was. He looked it up on his phone and I'm like, great. Why? Because the, the, the physical change and the outward change and the emotional change are going to get people's attention. It's just what happens. It's just what happens. There are women that tell the story that in the first couple days, their family says, aren't you mad? <laughs> and no, I'm great. I'm great. Why, what are you, why are you so happy now? Like they, there's women that tell the story right? Because they were just miserable and argumentative and frustrated. It's because their thoughts affected how they felt, affected what they did, right? When you feel better and you feel more confident and you physically feel better and you emotionally and mentally feel better, how are you more likely to behave towards people, good or bad? Okay? So you have that physical change, because of the stuff that's in the product. But you're also gonna have that emotional change. How you connect with people is gonna be different. At least it is for me. So when I meet someone, I don't necessarily wanna just hi and bye right away. I wanna engage, and I've always been a social person, don't get me wrong. But there's a different, when you feel differently, you engage differently. That's really the only way I can explain, explain it. Granted, I'm still the, again, I don't want to make it seem like, oh, I was a completely different person a year ago. I mean, I was, but I wasn't. It's not like I didn't love getting on a live and having a conversation because I did. Um, it's just a matter of feeling confident in what you're doing and feeling like you are um, putting forth something that's helpful for people. Because I, I, I honestly believe that this is something that is helpful for every single person. Not every single person, person is going to be open to trying something like this. That doesn't mean it's not for them. They're just not for it. <laughs> so I guess what I'll leave everyone with is action will change the trajectory of everything. It's just a matter of what the action is. Whatever the action is, will put you on which path you wanna go on. And guess what? You're in control of the action. Because like I said, I can't help you with how you feel. I can't make you feel anything. I can't make you think anything. All I can do is help you find a system that is gonna change the action that you demonstrate, which will change everything else. If you don't believe me, look up Cognitive Behavioral Therapy Triangle. You can Google it after I get off and you will see for yourself. Again, I'm applying this to food because that's what I think is effective for a lot of different reasons. You would not be, when was the last time you went to the doctor and they said, have you detoxed? Or did they say, let me write you this prescription and granted, there are people that need to be on their prescription medication. I'm not, I'm not implying that you shouldn't be on your antidepressant or whatever. But what I'm saying is, when was the last time you had a doctor say to you, hey, have you, have you tried changing your lifestyle? Maybe they have. Most people that I talk to, they're like, oh, I got this new medication. I know my mom's one of those people. Oh, I'm on this medication now. I'm on this medication now. And I'm like, oh my God, huh? <laughs> I mean, it's crazy. It's crazy to think. Okay, I'm going off on a tangent. But 
the point is, is that if you can take, make an action, you can change a whole bunch of stuff and for the better or for the worse, but it depends on the action. So very easy to go to my website and take a very quick quiz about your lifestyle and it will direct you to the pack that would be best for you based on how you answer the questions. Also, if having a conversation with me is a little bit, you're not ready for that, you can go ahead and take the quiz. You can also order right through there. You don't even really ever have to talk to me if you don't want to, <laughs> but I mean, I'm here. That's what I do. So take an action. Guys, the stuff is delicious. It's not even like, it's delicious. I will tell you though, my first mm, probably two days, didn't like the shakes, didn't like them. Why? Because my body was toxic. Because I was craving the processed sugar that was in all the foods that I was eating. Never anything artificial, colors, flavors, sweeteners, nothing artificial, no harsh diuretics. There is no ephedras. There's nothing, it's all naturally, anything that has caffeine, it's all naturally sourced caffeine in all of our products. It is nothing but awesome nutrition. So I'm going to leave you with this thought because if you don't take anything from this tonight, this live, take this, okay? You are in control. How you use that control is completely up to you. I am only offering an option. This is not the only option. There's many, countless number of um, health and wellness companies out there. Obviously, I believe that we do it the best. I mean, or I wouldn't be a year later. So, you are in control regardless of what your thoughts are telling you, regardless of what your thoughts are, which then dictate your feelings, regardless of what that is, I'm here to tell you that you are in control of what you put in your body. You are in control of how you behave. You are in control of the trajectory of your life, period, end of story. Okay, that being said, I want to encourage everyone to get the information on what this looks like. If you decide to do something else, that's fine. Just get the information on what this does. I can send you information. You can, I'm gonna put websites in the chat. You can click on those websites and research yourself. You can take the quiz, you can do, do it however you want. All I'm saying is get the information. This doesn't have to be the year that you are the biggest or heaviest you've ever been. It's already the year of so much other crap we cannot control. Legitimately. Crap fell from the sky this year. Would you not agree? <laughs> okay. And this could be the year that you tell people 10 years from now, 2020 was a shit show, but you know what? I didn't let that govern my thoughts, my feelings, or my actions. That's the year I made a change. Maybe it's not this. Maybe it's something else. All I'm saying is get the information. Okay. I gave my final thought like three final thoughts ago, so I'm, I'm gonna go for real this time. Have a wonderful Sunday. Please feel free to share this video. If you thought the information was good and important, share it, even if you share it via messenger, even if you don't share it to your page, share it via messenger. I am um, typically available a lot of the time, but you can message me anytime. And I am here to help. I am here to help increase quality of life, plain and simple. That is what I wanna do. If this is how I have to do it, then so be it. So that's all I have, guys. Again, any questions, always, always, always feel free to contact me. Instagram signing off, Isomom signing off. 
and Facebook signing off. See everybody on Thursday. Have a wonderful holiday tomorrow and I will see you then. Bye.